In this video, we will discuss about I action result return type in ASP.NET Core Web API application. The I action result is an interface and it is used to return multiple types of data. For example, if you want to return not form data, OK data, redirect data, etc. from your action method, then you need to use I action result as the return type from your action method. Let's add one more method. Since we are using the same application that we have created in our ASP.NET Core video series, in this application we have three controllers inside this controllers folder. So we are using employee controller here. Paste it. Now, instead of this uh, employee model and uh, I async enable, now we will use I action result return type. Now let's see the definition of this I action result. Right click then click go to definition. See here. Uh, this is an interface. It contains uh, only one method only. Execute result async. Now go back to employee controller. Here we are using two action methods in this controller. So let's add the route for these uh, methods. Your route. This is for um, all employees. Then for this method, route. Yeah, we need to pass ID. Int ID. Okay. Now, what we will do? Um, we are a list of four employees here. We are getting the list of employees in this variable list employees. Now, if the list employees count is greater than zero, then we will return OK method. If the count of employees is zero means we will return not found method. Let's remove this for each statement here. Here, if list employees dot count greater than zero we will return if there is an record we will show the data in the ok method here we will show the list of employees if the employee count is a zero means we will return not found method Now uh, we can test this result in Postman. Okay, for that, uh, save and run this app. Copy this URL and open the Postman. Uh, make sure that you are in a get method. Then paste the URL here. Uh, go back to Visual Studio. You see the base route. First, we have to append API, then controller name. Now we are testing this second method uh, for this we have to pass the ID. So in the postman API, then controller name employee, then pass ID, then click send. See here, um, we have to zero zero OK status code and we got the output so we have total four records now if you want to get single uh, employee id for that go back to visual studio stop the execution here to get the single employee um, again declare one variable employee where employee equal list of list employees dot here we will use first or default method to get single employee so here emp then emp dot id equal this parameter id 
here we are getting the single employee if the id is matches with this uh, list of employee id okay now instead of this um, if employee not equal to null we will return em that employee particular employee only else we will return not found method see here uh, in this line we are getting a list of employees in this list employees variable here we are getting particular single employee with this id id of the employee if the employee is not equal to null means we will return the employee in okay method if the employee id not matches with this uh, list of employees we will return not found method okay again run this app see here we are having 1 2 3 4 id let's test it in the postman um, See here, we are passing ID as 1, then click send. Here we are getting only particular ID of this ID 1. Okay, if I change the ID as 4, then your ID should be 4 and name will be EMP4. Let's click the send button. Here we are getting 200 OK status code. ID is 4 and name is EMP4. Now, there are only 4 records in our list. Now, if I send a 8 uh, as the ID, then click send. This time, we are getting a uh, title not found status 404. We are getting 404 not found status code. Okay. So far, we, are, we return two different types of data from this action method. Now, uh, benefits of I action result is it allows us to return multiple types of data along with status code. This is very important for RESTful APIs. We can return the data using some built-in methods that are OK method, not found method, content method, redirect method, etc. We used OK method and not found method. Uh, we will use our remaining methods in our upcoming videos. So, I action result is an interface and allows us to return multiple types of data. The drawback of uh, using I action result type is as it returns multiple types of data. If you are using Swagger, then it will not be able to identify the output uh, for this action method. In this scenario, we have to mention explicitly and type of this action method. Uh, as an attribute this only the drawback of this i action result thanks for watching this video